Well folks, let's get comfy. Okay, so this TJO challenge is going reasonably well so far. It's, uh, it's a challenge and it's hard work, it's really tiring and I love exploring Scotland and it's going amazing. So, and I'm, the people that I meet are just so good, really nice folk. Anyway, so as part of our logistics, we need to carry food. And um, I reached out just before, or the build up to the TGO, I reached out to Base Camp Foods and they sent me a few packages of food, five overall, five main meals that I could carry or send up in uh, packages to various locations to help me on my journey. And I can't remember all the food that I've been given. So the five foods I've been given, I've spaced them out over the 15 days. And I can't remember, which is a good thing because that makes it more exciting. But for tonight, I do know what I'm having. And this is from Adventure Nutrition. And it's Moroccan chicken couscous. How good does that sound? I love the sound of that. So this one alone is 800 calories and I really do need this because I've burnt a lot of calories today. Um, all the info on the front of it there and simple instructions on the back. It takes 350 mils of boiling water and you pour it into there and leave it for six to eight minutes. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you um, with what it looks like. So that's 350 mils of hot boiling water into the bag, it's resealed and I just leave that to sit for 6 to 8 minutes. On another note, it's always worth getting a, long, a longer spoon, it um, just means you can get down and mix it in properly um, instead of just a little tiny spoon. But anyway, so I'm just going to let that sit for 6 to 8 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Right, I've made my coffee. This has been sitting for probably 10 minutes, but six to eight minutes is sufficient enough. And it's absolutely roasting. So see on a really cold night, or a cold day of some sort, this would be perfect. It's absolutely, keep you warm, no bother. Obviously, yeah, it doesn't scald, scald you. But anyway, so all I've done was put 350 mils of boiling water in here. There is a guide on the, the, the side and all the instructions are self-explanatory on the back there. Um, and you seal it up and let it boil, let it cook inside. So obviously when if you're new to these stuff, um, you need to mix it up anyway. And, Wow, that's a big helpful. That's a big. That's a lot. That's up to there now. So it's. I think with couscous, does it not swell? So it's you're getting a. That's a heavy bag of food. That is definitely a big main meal. That. Um. So yeah, with the, with these sort of spoons, you can get down into the corner to mix all the sort of stuff that sometimes doesn't get. Um. Touched, but anyway, it's a good it's a good mixing spoon and so on. So if you've never, if you don't know about Base Camp Foods, I'll put a link in the description below and put a wee bit on the, the page for them. So this is the Moroccan couscous. So 
it's actually quite good. It's good it's got a little bit of a kick to it, a little spicy. Oh good. I do like that. Moroccan chicken couscous. That's one I would buy again. I do like that. I think with it, with these being such high calorie meals, obviously, um, we would do the world of good if you're on big hikes. You just add the water so it's less mess for your pot to clean. I really like that. So there we go. That is the Moroccan chicken couscous. Um, there's quite a lot in here. I'm going to be here for about five minutes eating this because there's a lot in it. So, I'll leave a link in the description for it, and you can check it out yourself, and see what, if it's something that you like. But yeah, definitely good shout out to Basecamp Foods for doing that for me. Um, big thumbs up to this. Loving it. Love that. Anyway, I'm going to finish that, and then I'll drink my coffee, 